And now in this video, we are going to look at finding the force on a charge when there's um, four charges. And now I'm going to sort of simplify this for a few different reasons. And uh, that should be a, a square, more or less. And so we're going to make some simplifications. First one is uh, the first simplification is it's a square, and the simplif second simplification is that all the charges are equal. Okay, so let's uh, find the force on this one. So we're going to say, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say this is Q, this is Q, this is Q, and this is Q. And I'm going to give them numbers that I'm just going to put up here just so we can keep track of them, but uh, just so they don't look all the same. But it, I just put the numbers up sort of randomly. And now we're going to say, well, how long is this length? Well, I'm going to say this has a length of r, and I'm going to say this has a length of r. So it's a square that's r by r. Okay. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to work symbolically. And you've seen me do this in some of the uh, other lectures all the way through the year, but the point is that we're going to manipulate things without putting in the values, um, so we're not going to put in values for K, Q, R or F. We're just going to find a mathematical expression. And there's a lot of reasons to do that. And uh, basically what you're going to find is if you can start working symbolically, it helps you to understand at a certain point in time when you can start working symbolically, it helps you to understand the physics better than if you are always just plugging in numbers because you can just sort of see how the symbols kind of flow around on the page. And then the other thing is that uh, it can ultimately be quicker because instead of having to write um, 5.32 times 10 to the negative 9th coulombs, you can just write Q. Okay, so I'm going to have three forces, and so my three forces are going to be uh, F14, and that's going to be K, Q, Q over. Oh gosh. So, hang on. How do I want to how do I want to get across this? Okay, general formula. F equals k q1 q2 over r squared. And that's what we're going to do. Now, right off the bat, because of the way I numbered them, I'm going to punt here a little bit. I'm going to start off and I'm going to find F24. So F24 is just going to be K times Q times Q makes Q squared. And then the distance there is R squared. 
Oh, that was really pretty simple. There's one of my forces right off the bat. Now I'm going to say uh, F3-4 is going to be K Q squared over R squared. Oh, there's another one of my forces right off the bat. See how easy it is? Now, the problem is, is that this distance here was R, and this distance here was R. But the problem that we run into is what is this distance here? So I want you to spend a little bit of time, hit pause and think about it, what's that distance there? Well, I'm going to give it to you right there. It's the square root of 2 times r. So, I'm going to have f14 is going to be k q squared again over square root of 2 r, all of that squared. So, f14 is going to be k q squared over 2 r squared. And there's my three forces, so I'm done. Well, I'm not quite done. We have to add them as vectors. Now, so since they are all, since they're all the same charge, they're going to be repulsive. So Q2, so F24 is going to push down this way. So that's going to be F24. And then F34 is going to push that way. So this is my F34. And then my uh, F14 that's going to push down that way. So that's going to be my F14. And now we have to add them tip to tail. So what I'm going to do is the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw F24. And that is uh, K Q squared over R squared. And then, going this way is going to be about the same length. Ex it should be exactly the same length. Is F3, 4. And I haven't quite made it exactly the same length. Because instead of using my ruler and protractor like I just told you guys to do just a couple video videos ago, I'm not. And then that's going to make a 45 degree angle because we're dealing with a square. And then also conveniently my F14 is also going to go down there. But now F14 is KQ squared over 2R squared. So it's got a 2 in the denominator. So if that's... So basically I want to be that long. So I want to be like that long. And so this is F14, and that's KQ squared over 2R squared. Okay, so now let's forget the KQ squareds over R squareds for a second, and let's just call that 1, call that 1, and call that 1 half. Well, if this is 1 and this is 1, how long is this? Well, it's the square root of 2. And so, this is square root of 2, and this is 1 half. So my force total is going to be root 2 plus 1 half of k q squared over r squared. So this 1 plus this 1 plus 1 makes square root of 2 plus one half makes square root of two plus one half. So that's my coefficient out front, 
And then there's my kq squared over r squared.